Your angiosperms, these are your vascular plants. This is one type of your vascular plants with seeds. Okay, so this is a type of plant. It's vascular. It has both the xylem and the phloem, and of course, it has seeds. Okay, so your angiosperm, a common name for this or a common term for this would be your flower bearing plants. Well, now you know that a flower is the reproductive organ of a plant. Your angiosperms are the largest group of plants that exist. Okay, so the most number of species of plants would be angiosperms sperms now you've also seen this in your activity yesterday your assignment yesterday you have the different parts of your flower again the flower is the reproductive part of your plant you actually have two parts for this you have your male part the male part is called the stamen again the male part of the flower is called the stamen and the female part of the flower that's called the carpel another term for this would be a pistil Okay, pistil or carpel. Now, for the female part of the flower, you have the different parts of this. You have uh, the stigma, the style, and the ovary. Again, that's the stigma, the style, and the ovary. These are the different parts of your carpel or pistil, the, the female part of your flower. Okay, now the stigma here, this is a sticky opening found at the top most part of your flower. It is sticky. It is found at the top part of the flower because its function is to gather pollen grains. Okay, so its function is to gather the, your pollen grains. And so it can be found sticking out of the flower and it is also very sticky. Okay, again, because its function is to gather your pollen grains. Now the style that is just going to be a long tube it's a long tube that connects the stigma to your ovary. Okay, again, the style, still part of the female part of your, your flower. It connects the stigma and the ovary. Now, the ovary is just like the ovaries in females. And this would, of course, produce the egg cells of your flower. The egg cells of your flower would be termed ovule. Okay, your ovule are the egg cells of your flowers. Okay, so the ovary, of course, this produces your ovule, which is the egg cell of your flower. Now, that's for the female part of the flower, which is called the carpel or the pistil. Now, for the stamen, again, as I've mentioned, the stamen, the stamen is the male part of the flower. You only have two, two parts for this, the anther and the filament. Okay, the anther and the, and the filament. Now, the anther is a very important part of your stamen because this is where you find your pollen grains. Okay, so this is where pollen grains are produced. Now, you know that the pollen grains are like the sperm cells in your flower. Okay, so the pollen grain and the ovules are very important in reproduction of your fruit trees or of your flowers. So again, the anther is where your pollen grains are produced. Your filament is just a special stalk that would support your anther, okay? The filament is just a special stalk supporting the anther. So again, for your stamen, the male part of the flower, you only have two parts, the anther and the filament. The anther produces your pollen grains and the filament in turn would support your anther, okay? Now you also have two other parts here, the petals and the sepals. We sometimes just call these the accessory parts of your flower because they are not in any way uh, related or they're not involved in reproduction. They're not really involved in reproduction. And so we just call them the accessory parts of the flower. The first part, of course, would be the petal. That is a colored part of the flower. Sometimes this is what we we the, really call the flower in layman's term, okay? That's really what we call the, the flower, the colored part of your flower, that's the petal. And of course, its uh, main function is just to attract pollinators like your bees and your butterflies. That's why it's colored. If it's not colored, if it's just color white, then it's going to be very fragrant, okay? Because that is its way of attracting pollinators. Now, you also have the sepal here. Still, this is an accessory, just an, an accessory part of your flower. It's not involved in reproduction. Your sepal is just a small, small leaf-like structure under your flower. And then, of course, uh, when your flower is still a bud, your sepal is going to be protecting that bud. 